Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving trigonometric integrals part 2 product of powers of sine and cosine. So we're going to be looking at different cases here. The first one is going to be when the powers are both odd. So we looked at the individual integrals of sine and cosine before powers and when there were odd powers we just split one of them, right? So we separated one of the powers so we could keep it as, or save it for du and then we kind of figured out what the do, uh, u would be from there. So we're going to be using a similar approach here. Let's see how this goes. Since they're both odd powers, you can actually uh, choose which one to separate. Uh, I usually go, if cosine is available, I'm usually going to go with cosine because that's going to keep things positive. So what I'm going to do first is basically I'm going to write this as cosine of x to the fourth power multiplied by cosine x dx. And as you know, the individual one is going to be our du. So I kind of go to u from du by way of integration. So if du is cosine x dx, that means u must be sine x, right? Okay. I'm using substitution. This is not integration by parts, but I'm kind of going backwards with my choice. Okay. Uh, now, we know that u equals sine x, so we have to be able to express everything in terms of sine x, but I do have a cosine here, but they could be, that could be taken care of because cosine comes with an even power, so that's kind of nice. So what I can do is cosine to the fourth power can be written as cosine squared squared, right? And that can be written as 1 minus sine squared squared. Awesome. So that means if sine x is equal to u, then this is going to be 1 minus u squared quantity squared. So now I'm ready to go. Sine cubed x is u cubed, right? So I'm going to write it as u cubed. And then cosine to the fourth power was written as 1 minus u squared squared, and the rest is du. Awesome. So what I'm going to do next is basically these are all powers, so they're polynomials, easy to integrate. Let's go ahead and expand this, 1 minus 2u squared plus u to the fourth power du. And then I'm just going to go ahead and distribute that so I can get just a, uh, I can get a sum of powers. This is going to be u cubed minus 2u to the fifth plus u to the seventh du. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to integrate every single one of these using the power rule. The first one is going to be u to the fourth power divided by 4 minus 2 times u to the 6 divided by 6 plus u to the 8th divided by 8 plus c. Let's not forget the constant here. Now I'm going to back substitute. As you know, sine x is equal to u. So you can replace u with sine x and you'll be getting sine to the fourth power divided by 4 minus. Now this is going to cross cancel. We're going to end up with a 3 here. So it's going to be sine to the 6 divided by 3 and sine to the eighth divided by eight plus c and we are good to go okay that's basically is going to be the integral of the, our original expression which was sine cubed and cosine to the fifth okay so let's go ahead and write that down here one more time so that is basically the integral of this expression again if you don't trust that result you can just go ahead and integrate i mean differentiate the left hand side and you should get the right-hand side under the integral sign. Okay, here's another example. This one has cosine squared with sine cubed, meaning that I do have an even power with an odd power. So what am I supposed to do? Well, if we have one odd power, then we're good. And in this case, we don't have a choice. We just have to separate the sine x. So let's go ahead and do that. This is going to give me cosine squared x, sine squared x, multiply by sine x dx. In this case, since sine x comes as a first power, that's going to be my du. So sine x dx needs to be the du. There's no other way to do it. I mean, there are other methods, but this is basically the more uh, standard form. And from here, by way of integration, uh, it's going to be, as you know, negative cosine x. I'm not writing the c because we'll, we'll put that at the end, right? Okay. So u is equal to negative cosine of x, which means uh, cosine of x can be written as negative of u. Cool. Okay. Now that can be taken care of because we have cosine squared. It's going to be u squared anyways. But what about the sine squared? 
Well, sine squared can be written as 1 minus cosine squared, right? And cosine is negative u, so cosine squared would be u squared. So sine squared can be written as 1 minus u squared. Okay? So what we can do here is basically uh, substitute everything. Cosine squared is going to be... Oh, by the way, cosine squared is just going to be u squared. So this is going to be u squared. Sine squared is going to be 1 minus u squared. Okay? And then sine x is just going to be du. Awesome. So what do we get from here? We're going to distribute. It's going to be u squared minus u to the fourth times du. And then if you integrate this term by term, you'll get u cubed over 3 minus u to the fifth power divided by 5. Now, here it didn't matter when we square the negative u. It became u squared. But if you look at the results, actually, that's going to make a difference because u is now negative cosine of x, right? And if you back substitute, uh, the cube of negative cosine x is going to be negative. So we're going to be getting negative cosine cubed x over 3. So here, it's going to be negative cosine of x to the power of 5. That's going to be a negative cosine to the fifth. So double negative is just going to make it a positive. So we'll get cosine to the fifth power of x divided by 5 plus c. All right? And that's going to be the integral of cosine squared multiplied by sine cubed of x. Okay? So that's going to be my original expression. Again, you can differentiate and check it out. All right, one more example. Let's take a look at it. And this time, we don't have any odd powers. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? Well, you don't really have anything to separate. So even if you took out one of the cosines and write it as cosine x dx, you would have an individual cosine. And then when you say u equals sine x, cosine would be the square root of something. And you would run into some complications, which can be handled by... We're going to do it a little differently. What do we do with the even powers? We use our formulas, right? Remember, just a quick refresher from the previous video, cosine of 2x can be written as 2 cosine squared x minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Now, this allows us to write cosine squared x in terms of uh, sine squared, um, cosine 2x. So we can write cosine squared x as cosine of 2x plus 1 or should I write it? Um, yeah, I, I think I'll write the one first. That's probably more appropriate. You can write it as 1 plus cosine of 2x divided by 2. And sine squared x you can write as 1 minus cosine of 2x over 2. Okay, so those are the two formulas that I'm going to use here. But first, let's go ahead and write the sine to the fourth as sine squared squared. And then keep the cosine squared as it is. Okay. Now I'm going to replace cos uh, sine squared with 1 minus cosine of 2x divided by 2, and that'll be squared. And then I'll multiply that by cosine squared, which can be written as 1 plus cosine of 2x over 2 dx. Okay, cool. Now we're going to do our u substitution, but not yet, because we want to go ahead and just distribute this whole thing and put it all together. And we need to be able to get a nice expression, uh, so we need to know what to call u, okay? All right, if you square the top, you'll get, um, and I can actually take care of this here. We're, we'll get a one-fourth and we'll get one-half, so that's going to be like a one-eighth outside. And then I can just square the top. It's going to be one minus two cosine of two x plus, plus cosine squared of two x, and that'll be multiplied by 1 plus cosine of 2x dx. Okay? Awesome. This will probably take more work. Let's go ahead and distribute the whole thing and let's see what we get from here. We'll be getting 1 plus cosine of 2x. And then we're basically distributing the 1 over this and then negative 2 cosine of 2x minus 2 cosine squared of 2x. And then plus plus cosine squared of 2x plus cosine cubed of 2x dx. Now, notice that basically here, everything is written in terms of cosine of 2x, which is nice. So let's go ahead and simplify this as much as we can. 
by adding like terms, uh, I can just write the cosine cubed first. Okay, and then I do have w 1 cosine squared 2x here and minus 2 cosine squared 2x. So that's going to give me minus 1 cosine squared 2x. And these two can also be added. They're like terms. And it's going to give me minus cosine of 2x. And then I have plus 1. Okay. The x. And then what am I going to do? Okay, awesome. Now I do have a single cosine cubed. So what I need to do is separate that. Okay. What we can do is actually we can go ahead and separate each of these integrals and solve them separately. And then put it all together. Okay, with the 1 eighth. So this one is fairly easy to do, and this one is fairly easy to do. So I'm just going to have to deal with cosine cubed 2x and cosine squared 2x. Let's go ahead and do the cosine cubed 2x first. Okay, how do you integrate cosine cubed? And I could actually leave some room here for the final answer. Let's do that. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to change colors here. So how do you integrate cosine cubed? Uh, I might need a little bit more. I'm okay, fine. All right, cool. Scroll down a little bit. Okay, let's start here. So integral of cosine cubed of 2x dx. Okay, I'm going to write it as cosine squared dx times cosine 2x dx. Okay, and then uh, this is going to be my du again. So basically, in this case, the u, since this is du, or uh, you can probably take care of the twos here, uh, like it's going to be, okay, let's do it this way. So u equals sine 2x, right? And du would be 2 cosine 2x dx. So cosine 2x dx is just going to be 1 half of du. Okay? So we're, that's going to bring a 1 half. And this can be written as 1 minus sine squared 2x. Therefore, we can write it as 1 minus u squared. But don't forget there's a 1 half here outside. And then cosine of 2x dx is just du. Okay, let's go ahead and integrate this. It's going to be u minus u cubed over 3. Now, let's not put the c yet because we'll put it at the end. Okay, and this is going to equal basically 1 half of sine 2x minus 1 sixth of u cubed, which is sine cubed of 2x. Okay, so that is the integral of this one over here. It's this one. And now we're just going to do our replacement when the time comes. Let's go ahead and integrate cosine squared of 2x here. So cosine squared of 2x. Now remember, we were able to write cosine squared x as 1 plus cosine of 2x over 2. And now cosine squared 2x can be written in the same manner as 1 plus cosine of 4x over 2, right? So if we do that, it's going to look like this. We'll, get, we'll take out the 1 half and we'll get 1 plus cosine of 4x dx, okay? And if we integrate this, obviously we're going to get 1 half of u, or I mean uh, 1 half of 1, uh, which is going to be x, okay? So we can write it like this. And the integral of cosine 4x is just going to be 1 fourth of sine 4x, because when you integrate, I mean differentiate sine 4x, you'll get a 4 from the chain rule, so undo that, we do need a one-fourth here. Again, I'm not going to use the C here because I'm going to put it all together first. Okay, so this part is going to be the integral of the square part. Now let's go ahead and put it all together. Okay, so we get one-eighth of... Now the integral of cosine cubed of 2x is just going to be one-half of sine 2x, right? Let's go ahead and copy that here. One-half of sine 2x. minus one-sixth of sine cubed 2x. Okay, it's just the integral of this one. And then minus, and don't forget that one-eighth will be all the way on the outside, so let's go ahead and do that, minus the integral of cosine squared. Okay, the cosine squared is going to be this one, one-half of x plus one-fourth. Okay, so one-half of x plus one-fourth of sine 4x. Right? Okay. So that's going to be my in the integral for the cosine squared 2x. So I did that replacement. So it's for this one. Okay. 
minus the integral of cosine 2x, which is going to be 1 half of sine 2x, right? Okay, plus 1, that's going to be just an x. And now I can close the brackets and put a little constant here. Okay, awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're basically going to simplify this a little bit more and that's going to be our final answer. But it looks like I need a little bit more room here. So let me go ahead and clear this area and make ourselves more room. All right. Let's go ahead and make some cleaning here. Okay. All right. So what do we get from here? We, if you go ahead and distribute the uh, 1 eighth over the whole thing, it's going to give me 1 16th of sine 2x minus 1 over 48 sine cubed of 2x. Now we're going to get 1 half of x from here. When we distribute to 1 eighth, it's going to be minus 1 over 16x. When I distribute this one, it's going to be minus 1 over 8. And then multiply by another 1 eighth. That's going to be minus 1 over 64 sine of 4x. And then I have 1 half, 1 eighth. That's going to be minus 1 over 16 sine 2x. And then finally, 1 over 8x plus c. Okay? Awesome. Now, do we have any like terms? No, not really, except for the x. So we have negative 1 over 16x plus 1 over 8. 1 over 8 minus 1 over 16 is going to be 1 over 16, obviously. So we're going to get this with a positive. So it's going to look like 1 over 16 of sine 2x minus 1 over 48 sine cubed 2x plus 1 over 16x minus 1 over 64 sine 4x minus 1 over 16 sine 2x plus c. All right, that's going to be our result for the integral of sine to the fourth cosine squared. Okay, all right, so it's going to be the integral of sine to the fourth x cosine squared of x dx. Okay, that's going to be our result. Awesome. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. We'll continue tomorrow with a geometry puzzle and more algebra questions are coming up. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.